Hello folks, welcome to the Edupedia world and I am Abhinav Gupta. Today again we will continue with the topic the Sarfasi Act 2002 which is the Securitization and Reconstruction of Financial Assets and Enforcement of Security Interest Act 2002. So in our previous lectures we have already been through the entire process flow, the definitions and the various provisions of the important sections. right? And in the immediately preceding lecture we have undergone the provisions of section 17, section 18, 18a and 19 where we had seen that section 17 dealt with the provisions related to the application made to the debt, uh, debt recovery tribunal right in section 18 we had seen the application to the appellate tribunal and in section 18a we had seen the right to lodge a caveat and then we concluded with section 19 where we had seen what happens if the decision is taken in favor of the borrower so today we'll continue with the provisions of the remaining section right including section 20 21 22 and 23 right so section 20 the central registry so the central government may by notification set up from the date as applicable a registry which would be known as the central registry which would have its own seal right and what would be the purpose of this registry this registry would register the transactions of the securitization and reconstruction of financial assets and creation of security interest under this act right so the central registry is set up by the central government in order to register the transactions of securitization and reconstruction of financial assets right now where will the central registry be located so the location of the head office as well as the branch if any would be specified by the central government where the branches are actually uh, registered to facilitate the registration of the transactions right and the jurisdiction of these registry would also be determined by the central government. So the central government would determine the territorial limits of these registries, the central registry. And all the provisions related to this uh, central registry should be the additional provision. So all the provisions that are applicable under the other laws would remain to be applicable and these provisions under section 20 would be an additional provision. right? So once you have a registry established for registering the transactions of securitization and reconstruction and also for the enforcement of security interest, you also need a registrar, right? So under section 21, we talk about the central registrar. Again, the central government may, by notification, appoint any person to be the registrar under that registry, right? The registry established by the central government. And they may also appoint some other officers to assist the registrar for the proper functioning of the entire registry. Right? So all these uh, recruitment or actually the appointment would also be done by the central government itself. Now what would be the duty of the registrar and the other officers? The registrar and the other officers sitting into the central registry would now register the transactions of the securitization and reconstruction and also the enforcement of security interest right and as per section 22 the central registrar would maintain a register of all the transactions that have been recorded under the registry right so the central register would be maintained at the head office and that head office as we have already already discussed under section 20 would be specified by the central government right so the central government would appoint the central registry right would appoint the registrar into it and the registrar would maintain a register of transactions and that would be maintained at the head office the location of which was all also decided by the central government and when we talk about register it doesn't always mean it has to be in hard copy right so notwithstanding anything that has been said in this section so far right it should it shall be lawful for the central registrar to keep the records wholly or partly in uh, electronic mode right so electronic mode would also be allowed and would be considered to be a valid register right 
and whenever we talk about the reference to the register it would also be deemed to be understood that we are talking about a reference to the electronic records as well and the power to control and the power of control over the central register would be enjoyed by the central registrar of the central registry right so the central registrar would control and manage the register of transactions register of all the transactions of securitization and reconstruction of financial assets or even for the creation of the security interest now so far we have talked about the central registry the central registrar and also the register of transactions right now who is supposed to maintain the records so as per section 23 we would understand the filing of the transactions the transactions of the securitization and the reconstruction of financial assets right so the particular of every transaction would be forwarded by the securitization and the reconstruction company to the registrar so it is the duty of the securitization and reconstruction company right to file with the central registrar the particulars of all the transactions the, trans the transactions of securitization and the reconstruction and this is to be done within 30 days after the date of such transaction or creation of the security uh, what whichever whatever be the case right and if they are not able to file the particulars within the defined period within the period of 30 days they may also be allowed an extension of another 30 days that would uh, start from the lapse of the previous limit of 30 days right so 30 plus 30 days 60 days but over here the you will be charged an additional fees right in the very first instance for the first 30 days you would be uh, charged the fees as prescribed right but when you go for the extension when you apply for the extension and you file the particulars during the period of extension right you may do that in the manner prescribed as well as with the additional fees which would not exceed 10 times of the original fees right that that additional fees could be of any amount but to the maximum of 10 times of the original fees and the central government may by any notification also require the registration of all the transactions or secu of securitization or reconstruction of asset which is subsisting on or before the date of establishment of the central registry by the central government obviously right within the period and as per the fees which is prescribed by the central government so if there is any old transaction that has to be registered with the registry after the registry comes into force means after the registry has been established and the registrar has been appointed by the central government right so all old transactions should also be recorded and the sr company will send the particulars of those transaction also to the secured uh, central registry right so that that would be enough for the day today so we have covered section 20 21 22 23 where we have learned about the registry registrar and the register of transactions right and also how to file those transactions so there are just two to two to three more sections that are remaining in this chapter we'll be covering it into the next lecture so until